And there's a live look outside from our Channel 2 Tower Can. That's a shot of the 59 freeway. Weather's pretty nice today, so why don't we check in with meteorologist Eric Bray to see what's happening in the forecast. Eric. Hey, good afternoon. We are not We are at a charitable food truck. This is the Lopez Family Restaurant, the Dulce de Lopez charitable food truck. We're going to talk about that in a little bit here in just a second. First of all, we need to talk a little bit about weather because we've got some thunderstorms in the air. Let's go to exact track radar, show you what's going on. We've got showers working their way in from the coast. These are along a sea breeze. We're not expecting severe weather today, just inconvenient stuff. Spotty showers and thunderstorms. In from the south, entering southern Fort Bend County, and it will eventually make its way into the city. So, well, is handy. You'll definitely need them. And as we head into the afternoon, check out this forecast. Temperatures in the mid 90s. It's going to be feeling more like about 105 for a takeout here. It is a sultry day outside. And that is going to continue. Mid 90s for afternoon highs. It is going to be extremely humid every day heading into the weekend. The one thing we're going to see is less and less rain. High pressure filling in, and that's going to kind of put the brakes on any rainfall. So we're going to take rain out of the forecast as we head into the weekend. It's just going to be a scorching summertime August forecast here in Houston over the next 10 days. And what better to enjoy a nice, cool treat. Again, I am in southwest Houston, and we are talking charitable churros. Charity food truck, and we want to talk to you a little bit about what the concept is here. They are making the best churros in town. With sprinkles on them, they've got some brown sugar, they've got some fantastic churros. And I want to introduce you to the man behind the whole concept. This is Jonathan. Jonathan, uh, ask you, what are you doing here? We are giving back to the community, community in a meaningful way. I had the dream of, you know, giving back to the community, you know, something that's fun and relevant. You know, I think it's fun for the community to come out and enjoy, you know, the ice cream and churros in this weather and get back at the Okay, so how do you do this? They buy soft serve ice cream with a churro on top. That's it. So they get to choose. They get to choose between four ice creams. We have vanilla, chocolate, uh, praline, and cookie dough. And then we have uh, three different churros. You can get the original, uh, cinnamon and sugar, sprinkles, and uh, Oreo. And you get to choose between those and make your own custom churro and ice cream. And you're doing this just to give back? Give back. All right. Give this back. is fantastic. And you're doing it for several charities in town, but the first one you chose to do it for is our Countdown to Kona Leukemia and Lymphoma Society right. charity. I am honored to be the first recipient, for us to be the first recipient of this just fantastic endeavor. I want to thank you very much. And uh, we're out of time here. I'm going to let you get back to business, and I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Eric, that is so great. What a delicious treat for a fantastic cause. Keep up the good work, my friend. Now, this Saturday, there is an event that's both fun and educational. It is called Back the Bay Day at the Houston Zoo, and it teaches us about the impacts trash and plastic pollution have on our region's wildlife and more. So here to tell us about the event are Marianne Weber, Sophie Darling, and Sarah Gossett. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. This is so great. So from water quality to the Houston Zoo to the Audubon, Society, you are all coming together to create this event that's, happen that's happening on Saturday. So what's really the goal here? Is it, is it education, the bottom line? Absolutely. Educating the public about our bay and our waterways, all of our bayous that drain into the bay and the impacts that pa plastic pollution has on wildlife. And one of the huge impacts uh, is on creatures like this beautiful skeeter you have with you. Birds are really deeply impacted, right? Very much impacted. Houston Audubon protects thousands of acres around Galveston Bay on the upper Texas coast and plastic pollution in our bayous that flows into the bay and on our beaches is, has a big impact on many, many species of birds. So how do you get this message out? I mean, because I think a lot of us, we go up about our daily routines and, you know, I, I mean, I still see people litter on Houston Road ways, which drives me crazy. How do you, you know, what do you have planned for Saturday that will help get this message across, Sophie? Well, the zoo is really good for that because of the wide audience we can reach. So on Saturday, from 9 to 2, we'll have a bunch of partnering organizations at our reflection pool area and it's included in admission so you can just come to the zoo stop at all these different booths and there's going to be a lot of educational activities you can talk to different organizations and you can swing by sea lions and uh, see a cool educational show around 1 30. and we're seeing some photos right now of people you know working on keeping the bay clean these are back the bay photos sarah 
How critical is it that our bay stays healthy? Right, so Galveston Bay is essentially um, a very vital part to Houston's economy and to all of the people who live and play and work in the Houston-Galveston area. So keeping Galveston Bay as a clean and healthy place is important both for our health as well as our ability to have fun and recreate and swim and have clean water as well in our community. And something, Sarah, that I didn't realize, the Bay actually has its own report card. Yes, so um, I'm with the Galveston Bay Foundation and we will be showcasing our new Galveston Bay report card this Saturday at the Back the Bay event at the Houston Zoo. Um, every year we release a report card on the health of Galveston Bay and we give the Bay a grade just like you would have received a grade in school. Uh-oh, do I see a C? on that? Yes. <laughs> so right now, Galveston Bay's grade is a C, which is adequate for now. Um, I know I personally wouldn't like it when I saw a C on my report card. Needs improvement. Um, needs improvement for sure. But that being said, um, it's not a D, it's not an F. And it really shows that there is hope for the future and the resiliency of Galveston Bay. So all of the effort and work that um, our communities do actually makes a significant difference on keeping Galveston Bay clean and beautiful. You guys actually have an app as well. So if people yes. see violations or if you see someone dumping something into the bay, you can use an app to report it? Yep, so one of the cool things about the report card is every section, we've divided it into different impacts of the bay and it shows what you can do. And one of the big cool things you can do is actually file, download the Galveston Bay Action Network app and you can file any pollution report that you see in the area, all of Houston, Galveston, and that report is automatically sent to the proper authority who can clean it up and investigate it and remove That's great. that pollution. And Sarah, one of the things that you guys do at the zoo, I didn't realize you organize these monthly cleanups and head down to do the cleanups. And, and part of your job is also to um, educate, Sophie, sorry, is to educate um, you know, those who are fishing in the bay about proper techniques to dispose of things, right? Yeah, so the Sea Lion team started these jetties at the Surfside Jetty in 2014. We go down once a month, we take zoo staff, zoo volunteers, and we're starting to expand and we clean up all the rocks and everything and empty the monofilament recycling bins of any fishing line that is accumulated in there. And since 2014, we've picked up over 1,000 pounds of trash, over 900 pounds of recycling, and over almost 200 pounds of fishing line. And you found a sea turtle? Yes, tangled? yeah, one of the teams actually found an entangled sea turtle and called the sea turtle rescue number that you can find all along the jetty. It's posted by the monofilament bins. They were able to rescue the sea turtle and it just got released a couple months ago. Now, obviously, Marianne, the Audubon Society, you guys play a critical role in educating the public. Skeeter here is an education bird. Yes. So, so it's a he or a she? It's a she. It's a she. So she is specifically used to help people understand the effects of pollution on wildlife, right? Absolutely. We um, travel all over the region with a host of birds like Skeeter. She was disabled um, f almost five years ago. She was injured on her first migration down to South America, had a broken shoulder, rescued in the Corpus Christi area. This is a bird that um, Mississippi kites migrate around the bay and across the bay. We're a huge hub for raptor migration in August, September, and October. And millions of raptors like Mississippi kites travel across Galveston Bay on their southbound migration. And many of them don't make it for a variety of reasons, including pollution and getting entangled in um, plastic pollution. So anything we can do to help educate and clean up the environment is really important. Absolutely. Well, I think just the face-to-face, one-on-one with someone like Skeeter, you can see how beautiful she is. Uh, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. I want to put the information back up on the screen so people can see uh, the details about this weekend's event. All the info to attend the Back the Bay Day at the Houston Zoo this Saturday is on your screen. It's backthebay.org. Mary Ann, Sophie, Sarah, thank you so much for stopping by. And Skeeter, thanks to you, too. <laughs> what a cutie. All right, folks, are you shopping? for a new air conditioning unit? Well, don't sweat it. Literally, coming up, we're going to tell you about a new website that can save you time and thousands of dollars on a new AC unit. We'll be right back.